Order on both sides. Senator Ludlam. Thanks, Mr. President. Uh, my question is to Senator Brandis in his capacity as Attorney General. Um, Senator Brandis, today was meant to be the day that the $300 million Turnbull Shorten mandatory data retention scheme came into force. Instead, it appears that more than 80 per cent of telecommunications carriers have not had their implementation plans signed off by the Attorney General's department. Owing to the complexity of implementation and to ambiguities in the law itself, why are Australians effectively being taxed to fund their own surveillance when, for as little as 15 cents a day, to download a few apps and following a few helpful crypto tips by Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull, the system can be bypassed and rendered ineffective? The Leader of the Government in the Senate, the Attorney General, Senator Brandis. Well, uh, thank you very much indeed, Senator Ludlam. That's an important question. Thank you for the advance notice of the question via uh, Twitter, Senator uh, Ludlam. Now, <laughs> you, never know, you never know your luck, Senator Wall. Now, <laughs> now Senator, Senator um, Ludlam, uh, as you rightly point out, uh, the um, compliance obligation uh, commenced today, but there is another 18 months in the implementation period to run under the provisions of the Tele Telecommunication Interception and Access Amendment Data Retention Act. Now, Senator Ludlam, the point you raise is a point that we debated in the committee stage of that debate. And uh, I acknowledge that there are some apps which, uh, uh, which will uh, not enable metadata to be captured. That's commonly known. But, Senator Ludlam, that's not the point. The point of intelligence gathering is you have to determine from all the available sources a picture of the entire uh, a, 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 a picture of that information which is being sought by the agencies. And the fact that the, it remains the case that metadata is a useful and a vital investigative tool. And you ask Senator L uh, Ludlam uh, what use it is. It is used by the Australian Federal Police and by state and territory police forces in every single counter-terrorism investigation as well as other important investigations, for example, investigations into pedophile networks, investigation into transnational and organised crime. Because while some malefactors may be sophisticated enough to use, for example, over-the-top applications, not all are. Not all are. And the, and the advice that the Australian government has received from its security and law enforcement agencies is that metadata is one of the most important. Thank you, Attorney tools General. The time for answering the questions has expired. Supplementary questions, and I'd love them. Yeah, thank you, President. I thank the Attorney. Um, in the context of reports today that uh, more than 80 per cent of internet service providers haven't received a response from the Attorney General's department about the compliance plans that they were required to submit, I'm interested if the Attorney can describe for us how internet service providers. Uh, can be guaranteed of getting financial support, and what guarantees the minister can offer to some of the small ISPs in particular who are warning us that the implementation costs may drive some of them to the wall? Attorney General. Well, Senator Ludlam, uh, uh, I can give them this assurance that the government has set aside $131 million to assist in uh, meeting with compliance <coughs> obligations. And the outlay of that $131 million has been structured so that it is directed in particular to the smaller ISPs, to, to, to smaller businesses, because we acknowledge that the burden uh, on smaller businesses, particularly in relation to their cash flows of compliance with these obligations, will fall more heavily, uh, in a propor proportionately more heavily than upon big business. So that is why uh, the um, $131 million has been set aside. That is, in the government's judgment, a reasonable contribution to those costs. Now, Senator, we and my department are working with all um, the uh, elements of the sector to ensure that there is full compliance by April 2017, 18 months hence, when the compliance obligation— Thank you, Attorney General. Will, uh, the time for answering the questions has expired. Final supplementary question, Senator Ludman. Yes, thank you, President. Um, in March of this year, during negotiations and extended debate over the mandatory data retention legislation, the government committed to have mandatory data breach laws in place before the end of this year, whereby anybody who loses control of uh, your private information would at least be obliged to notify you that that had happened. With only 14 and a half sitting days left on the parliamentary calendar, 
Where is this bill? Attorney General. Um, it is still the government's intention to introduce um, a mandatory data breach uh, le uh, uh, to legislate for a mandatory data breach scheme before the end of this year. 